Oh man. Go ahead and turn around. Let me take that knife out your back. Shut up! Oh! Uh, fuck out the way! What's up, everybody? Welcome into my home. It's clean, ain't it? Title of this email Wife cheated on me with roommate. Oh man. That's your roommate? And he went inside of your wife and they became one. Takes two to tango. She let him inside. Think about that now. He didn't force himself on her. She opened them legs and said, come on in. That's what she did. How harsh twins, about, about six months ago, a friend of mine fell on hard times. Oh, it's terrible. She's really? friend, man. He fell on hard times. You gotta help him, right? You gotta, man. That's your friend. Oh my God, man. It's... He... Samsung. He, lo he lost, he lost, he said he lost it his job. He lost his job! You don't have to put an ED on the end of it. Correct his grammar, man. He lost his job. He lost it. He had no place to go due to the fact his marriage ended in divorce and his wife kicked him out. That's a red flag. There's two red flags. He lost his job. And on top of that, his wife kicked him out the door. Yeah. That, that happens. You lose your job, right? Yeah. Wife ain't going to kick you out and divorce you because you lose your job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He done something to that woman. Yeah, they kick you out. Because you done something wrong. Really wrong. Mm-hmm. Because he was such a good friend, I let him move in with me and my wife for eight years. Oh, man. That's terrible. Things are going good, right? Eight-year marriage? Oh. But you know what? That's right around that seven-year itch, they call it. Yeah. That's You're when your wife starts to look around for another piece. Or a guy. Same thing. Yeah. It's called the seven-year itch. Yeah, you're looking for some more... Some more, uh, some more balls deep action outside the marriage. Okay. You start looking around. We do not have any kids. My wife does not work. I, I make plenty enough to support us both due to a good wage prior and plenty of overtime. You know what? You're a good man. But let me tell you something. If you ain't around, mm -hmm. even though you make a lot of money, yeah, what's your wife doing, man? She ain't got no job. Ain't got no kids. Some, a lot of women like this. Even though you make a lot of money, if you ain't at home with them, uh -huh. now you messing up. Even though you're working for the family. Yeah, you ain't spending no time with me. You ain't spending no time with me. You always at the job. That's what they say. That's the BS that comes out of the mouth. Yep. That's but anyway, let's get on back to the email. Uh, where is that? However, while I was at work, a cousin of mine stopped by my house to drop off a lawnmower he had bought from me. I had previously told him that I would not be home just to drop it off and place it in my two-car garage due to the fact it's unlocked. While doing so, he said he could hear my wife having sex. Upset about the whole thing, he went and knocked on the front door, and after several minutes of knocking, my wife came to the door with a stupid look on her face. She was probably pissed off that you ruined her orgasm. What a stupid look. Well, what he said it? he came, she came to the door after a couple of hours, right? A few minutes. Oh. I said a few hours. Well, you can have all kinds of orgasms in minutes. Well, maybe she wanted to have more and he messed it up. Whatever. <clears throat> Upset about the whole thing, I went to, he went and knocked on the door, and after seven minutes, my wife came to the door with a stupid look on her face. Oh, he went and knocked on the door? Yeah, the cousin. Oh, I thought he said he went and knocked on the door. The cousin came over with the lawnmower. I know that. I thought he, he called him, he came Pay over. attention to the damn story, man. Pay attention. Damn, you're killing for them, man. Sorry, man. Um, her hair was all messed up. He said he peeked in and saw my, my friend come out of a rear room as if he just got dressed. I don't know what to <laughs> Hey, man, this ain't funny. Oh, man, it's terrible. Man, this ain't funny. He come, he come around the corner, man. He, he's zipping his zip up and putting his belt nice and tight, getting his gig line straight. 
because he had just busted all kinds of nuts with a female that didn't belong to him. I don't know what to think. My cousin did not say anything to her, but he told me about it. I'm so pissed and hurt right now. I don't know what to do. This happened a few weeks ago, but I've not said anything to either of them. If that was me, oh, his ass would have been thrown out as soon as I got to the house. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even said nothing. It's been a few weeks. Look here, man. You messed up a couple places. Yeah. I don't care how happy your marriage is. Yeah. Right? If I was in your situation, I don't think I would let another man move in my house. Even though my marriage is nice and stable with my wife. Yeah. You don't want another set of balls and mushroom tip hanging around the house, yeah, man. Because ain't nothing good going to come out of that. You know that, right? You just got to know that. You ain't at the house. She's home all day. Ain't got no kids. He there ain't got no job. They talking. They get to talking before you know it. He's got the nuts hanging out. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're trying to get off. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> oh, man, this is so good. <clears throat> this is too good to be true. <clears throat> oh, man, I like him, though, man. <clears throat> Let's don't let him find out. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Man, you crazy. Hey, I would never let no dude move in my house, man. I would help him find somewhere else to stay. Yeah. Because like you said, he's your friend. But you cut bringing them up, up, up in your house? Man, that was just plain stupid. But hey, you live and learn. But hey, this year, your friend busted him some nuts. Okay.